Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video, we're going to be learning how to create an image component um, dynamically. So when you create an image component, component dynamically, you basically um, set all the properties and the events via code. So let's quickly go and add an image component here. You will see you can do plenty different stuff such as you can go here the picture property where we have this picture you can load a picture such as, such as this one and here it is you can for instance resize it and stuff or apply the proportional or stretch and stuff like that to it basically you, have, you just have to set all the properties and events by yourself so let's actually delete this now uh, let me just, just check something okay yes so, so, now let's, so now let's actually start and create an image uh, dynamically via code so let's start here by writing var we say then image of type t image then we say then image colon equals t image dot create and then the create constructor expects an owner in the brackets or parent parent parenthesis Thesis, something so basically an owner is responsible for destroying the component so we want the form to be responsible for for destroying this component so when the form is destroyed when you just click on this X button then this component will also be destroyed now let's give the parent the parent will be the scroll box which one because um, we want the image to appear on the scroll box so the parent will be the scroll box so you can go here also pause, you can pause the video and read this this is the difference between an owner and a parent you can go and read that if you want so let's continue I hate this, this itching a bit then image toward, let's give it a height Right, wait let, let's let's first align it align let's align it to the top l top and give it a height then image dot height color equal let's give it a height of let's say 100 so now if you actually compile it just like this you will see it actually creates it as you can see it's not created plenty of it but you can't see it because it doesn't have a picture yet let's now go and I've actually added two, two pictures it's in the same folder as the EXE as you can see here one is JPEG and one is PNG it's in the same folder as the EXE here is the EXE then image dot picture dot load from file okay. now we can say me dot JPEG this is a JPEG file so it won't work by default by default this just support bitmaps so we have to go to the users list and just basically add jpeg so now if we compile now it has actually loaded the image so now we can go for instance go let's make it a bit bigger let's make it 200 let's, let's compile again so we can create many of these images as you can see let's all just give it a then it's fine okay so now let's do something else we say then image dot proportional we can give this true so basically proportion it correctly so it isn't all that looking weird or we can leave this out and instead add then image dot stretch true okay this will actually stretch it out as you can see okay let's quickly add both if it does not make it and um, chooses a proportional one instead of stretch let's make this one false okay so now let's go and load the png one png to um oops, png okay to use a png image you have to add PN, png image Let's compile and it will also work using the PNG one as you can see. 
let's say if it's, you leave this out then it will not recognize this type of image files as you see it gives us error so that's why we have to add this to, this to the users list to basically tell it that it needs to support JPEG and PNG okay now let's give the image an on click event so go to the public declarations and we say procedure uh, let's just make it um, then image click give it a sender t object we won't do anything like special like special i'm just going to be showing you how to create a um, an event and link it to a, to, a, to a dynamic component so yes I'm just simply going to say show message you click on a image okay then I'm going to be linking it by saying then image dot on click event and here I'm going to oops link it to the then image click then I'm going to go and compile and run it then it errors, why does it error? and an identifier then image click oops I spelled it incorrectly okay yeah, that's why anyway let's compile and get some images we have some images here let's click on this one and you click on an image that should actually be you clicked but yeah it, it, it works as you can see so as yeah, so this basically so this just a basic tutorial on how to create um, an image component dynamically dynamically and then set properties and, and events to it so if this video helped you in any way then please make sure to leave a thumbs up it really supports the channel and videos and also share share my videos if you think if you if you think it will help anybody or somebody and so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video bye